Hey, what's up, guys? Mike from the Oak Cliff Kid Boxing Academy. Going to be breaking down the action from Legacy Fighting Championship 19. Took place at the Allen Event Center. First fight on the prelims. I didn't get to watch. I was a little bit late getting there. Vernon Lewis picked up the win by TKO, Dr. Stoppage, against James Hall. I arrived for the Bull Wall fight. He defeated Jabari Shakur by decision. He mostly used takedowns and ground and pound to win this fight. Next one was Evan Thompson against Angeles McFarlane. Evan Thompson with Carlos Machado in his corner. He had a, a rough first round. He was taken down and just held down. Not a lot of action there. But in the second, he started getting off with his kicks. And against the cage, he was able to get the takedown of his own and work his ground and pound. And more of the same in the third. So Evan Thompson, brother of UFC fighter Stephen the Wonder Boy Thompson, picks up the decision. And Brad Mitchell defeated David Armas. It was a split decision. I thought it was pretty clear Mitchell won the fight. Mitchell had an octagon MMA. He looked good. Uh, lots of takedowns as well and ground and pound. The first fight on the main card, Kevin Aguilar defeated Hunter Turco, Hunter Tucker. I'm sorry, it was a pretty quick fight. He won by armbar. Hunter Tucker fighting at Jackson's MMA. He had a a lot of support from the crowd, a lot of people there from his camp cheering him on. But it was Aguilar who got the submission win. In the upset of the night, Ray Trujillo defeated Chris Jones. Uh, Jones has a very good record. He was like 10 and 1. Uh, he had fought Bellator. He fought Legacy a few times. And a lot of people expected him to do big things, move his way to the UFC. Uh, Ray Trujillo, he doesn't have a great record. He's like uh, 14 and 10, lots of losses. And very big upset. Uh, I thought Jones was going to win. But the fight got to the ground quick early on. And Trujillo started throwing punches from the guard, and they were landing, and Jones' lights went out. Also from Octagon MMA, Gio Pacararu against Steven Ocho Peterson. Um, Peterson trains at a Gracie Plano, but he's been doing a lot of striking, which I think is a mistake. He's a great jiu-jitsu fighter, and, but he wanted to stand and bang. He normally he does get rocked and he always comes back, um, but he was getting tagged way too much in this fight, and then a big knockout came I believe in the second round, very highlight will worthy. Uh, George Pacquiao looked very good. Matt Hobart again from Octagon MMA defeated Nelson Salas. This was a a good fight, a lot of action, a lot of back and forth. But mostly Hobar using the takedowns and getting that ground and pound. Salas did, he threatened with submissions a lot, uh, but um, Hobar was able to see his way through it and picks up the decision win. Robert Drysdale makes quick work of DJ Linderman. I think most people expected that uh, he was going to get the ground, the fight to the ground, and he set up the armbar very quick. Linderman, to his credit, got out of it. He defended well against the arm triangle choke. But once Drysdale took his back, it was all over. He locked up the body triangle with his legs and squeezed really tight on the rear naked choke for the tap very early in round one. The co-main event, Georgie Karakanyan versus Din Thomas. These guys are veterans. Thomas from the UFC. Karakanyan and Bellator and Tachi Palace. And personally, I thought Din Thomas won. He did a great punching and the stand-up, lots of body shots. And then Georgie, he did he did lots of leg kicks and he would get takedowns, but not a lot of damage done. So personally I thought Din Thomas won, but judges saw it to Georgie Karakanyan. The main event, Will Campusano versus Alan Nascimento. Campusano, the champion. The first round was the best round of the whole night. 
lots of action, lots of back and forth, both guys landing punches, and also takedowns and great scrambles, very fantastic. In the next round, uh, Nascimento, he, he was threatening with his submissions the whole fight. Uh, he was eating lots of punches, though, on the ground, and even though his coaches were telling him to get up, Campusano decided to stay down there and he would fight off the submissions. And he got in a few sticky situations at times, but he was able to get his way out. Nascimento looked like he was fading a little bit, but he was still going for submissions. And he never quit. That was great. And he actually turned really close with the norm bar, but Campusano spun around, got out. And it was a. In the middle of the fight, there was a point deduction for shots to the back of the head. Everybody booed. You know, nobody thought it, it was worthy of a one-point deduction. But still champion, Will Campusano. Uh, 